much do you know about your small intestine? It's one of those organ systems or organ pathways. We don't really think about that often. Like it gets mentioned every once in a while, but we don't really dive all that deep into it. So the small intestine is actually three parts and it is about 22 feet long. It's the largest portion of your digestive system and it starts where the stomach ends. So if we look into this space here, that yellow piece there is actually your pancreas. So right above that, you're going to see the pyloric sphincter. So this is an opening from the stomach that is muscular in uh, in construction and allows the the stomach contents to slowly empty into the small intestine. And now here you're going to see some form and function because we have the liver and the bile duct that comes down. That's that green tube. And it meets up with the pancreatic duct and they join together and they actually squirt a cocktail of uh, proteases, lipases, and amylase, which break down fat, protein, and sugar kind of respectively. And as you get into the small intestine, you know, 22 feet sounds like a lot, but it's not just length. The area of the small intestine, because of these things are called microvilli, there's these little projections, uh, like wavy tentacles almost, uh, they actually increase the surface area to over 2,700 square feet. So you have a house that is designed to absorb nutrients inside of your small intestine. Okay, so just keep that in mind the next time you eat something. The small intestine is how you absorb the majority of your nutrients. Okay, so this is just our introduction to this stuff. If you have questions, you know what to do.